Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a completely free app which doesn't need any user registration or passwords or email addresses or anything, but it's designed to make your laptop run cooler, quieter, and more importantly, make your battery last longer. Now, just because this is going to be shown today on a laptop doesn't mean that you can't install this on your desktop PC. Of course, you're more than welcome to do so, or Windows tablets. Any of those are going to be absolutely fine. Now, this application is designed to basically throttle your processor, so prevent it from spiking up to those particularly high temperatures and high frequencies, which will in turn drain your battery and increase the thermals of your unit itself. So let's take a look at the actual application itself. It's called Camomile, and it is a free app for CPU optimization. As we can see here, links will be in the video description. You can go to camomileapp.com to download it and check it out for yourselves. So it's free download, completely free to use, and is basically very straightforward. And essentially what it's gonna to try to do is to lower your PC temperature overall. It also will reduce your fan noise because with lower temperatures, obviously less heat, so the fans don't need to turn on. And if you're using a mobile device, then of course it will also extend your battery life because you're reducing the load on the processor, reducing the load on the battery, etc etc so yeah pretty decent little app and if we scroll down towards the bottom it's got all the instructions so you can download it install it launch it configure your settings and all that kind of stuff so yeah pretty straightforward stuff and best of all it's absolutely free so let's take a look and see what it's all about so currently we've got the application installed so i've uh, gone past that bit already it's a very easy thing to do and this is the main window so there's two modes so you've got the cooling mode here so currently the cooling mode is set to off and as you can see this is highlighted in a kind of orangey red to signify heat but if we turn it on you'll see it turns to a nice cool blue now you should see in some instances your cpu temperature slowly drop off now this particular unit at the moment is just idling on the desktop so it's not under a great deal of stress anyway and the room is around about 25 degrees celsius so it's about 10 degrees over ambient which for a laptop is uh, pretty much what you'd expect to see. Now things you can change in here, so you can take a look at the actual profile, see what the temperatures are, and see where they're rising and falling. Now when you're actually using this normally with your laptop, obviously you've got processes going on, you've got maybe a web browser open, all those kinds of things. So that's where you're gonna start seeing the difference. And also if you're running anything which is a little bit more strenuous on the CPU itself. Also gives you readouts of your CPU speed. So currently our CPU speed is about 1.4 gigahertz with a base speed of 2.1 gigahertz. So it's basically throttling that down a little bit. Also, if you're using a GPU inside your unit, then it will give you temperatures of that. This one's using an APU. So it's the same processor, same GPU is built in. So it's not got a temperature because it's basically the CPU temperature, but also it will tell you the SSD temperatures as well, which those can also be quite important and that's running at a rather cool 28 degrees Celsius. So other things we've got here at the top, so you've got the option to share. You've also got some settings here, so you can change the theme to a light or a dark mode. As you can see, you can switch between those, so whichever is more suitable for your particular needs and your desktop, you can go in there and also see about and also go to their website. There's also updates available freely as well, which is uh, pretty awesome. You've got the settings cog here, so if you click on this, this will give you options that you can set up. So in the general settings, you've got the language. You've also got the option to launch the app on PC startup. So when Windows starts up, it can automatically launch. If you also want it to launch, but have it silently, so you don't actually see this screen, then you can add a tick box here. Also, you can choose whether or not the cooling mode is active on application launch. Some of you may want to, some of you may not. So you can toggle that either way. And also you can pin the window to the taskbar and you can set it to be always on top. For my personal use, then having it always on top is probably not ideal because it's a relatively small screen on here and you don't want it taking up too much of your screen real estate. Also, you can actually have a hotkey combination to turn on or off the cooling mode. So in this particular one, it's control, shift and space. So if we press control, shift and space, we can toggle between the two modes. So you don't have to actually have the program open to be able to toggle that on or off. And of course you can reset the default should you wish to. In the view section, you can choose to show detailed information, 
you can show or hide the computer name. So if we get rid of that, it takes away the computer name. Not much difference there. You can also show the CPU clock speeds and the base speeds. You can show the GPU temperature. So for me personally, I could probably get rid of that to make the window a little bit smaller. You can also show the hard disk drive or SSD temps. You could always remove that as well to make this a little bit smaller. And also you've got your temperature graph, which you can choose to have either over a one minute period, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an entire hour. So you can see where your spikes are. You can also have the graph being large or small. Again, down to your own personal preferences. And also you've got the show temperature in tray with either white digits or black digits. So when you go down to the bottom here, when you click on the tray, you can see the little icon there for chamomile and it's in black at the moment, which contrasts nightly, nicely with the white background. Also, you can choose to use Celsius or you can use Fahrenheit should you wish to do that. And also you can choose whether or not you're showing the hottest core or the average across all of your cores. Again, you can reset to defaults should you wish to. So that's pretty much a, uh, an overview of what is going on here. So let's actually see how it works in practice. So actually on this particular laptop, when I hover over the battery status, normally you'll have a percentage remaining, which actually would have been really useful for this demonstration because when you turn the cooling system off, and it's basically in its own default mode, chances are it's gonna be showing, I don't know, maybe an hour's battery left or whatever. Whereas when you turn it on, you should see a significant increase of your estimated battery life, which is again, pretty awesome, especially if you're using your laptop on the go or you're not near a recharging point. So now we're gonna show you some kind of real world things. So I'm actually gonna open up CPU Z here. And currently you can see there cooling mode, we are in the off section. So this is basically disabled, it's just monitoring at the moment. So if we go into the benchmark section here and we'll just bench the CPU. So we'll get an approximate score here. So we should be getting around about 2,400 points thereabouts, which seems to be what we're getting on a multi-core and single core is gonna be around about 360, 380. So it's hovering around, but you can see already our CPU temperature is beginning to spike. We're up to 57. We're gonna be heading towards 60 very shortly if we continued loading up the CPU. So you can see how warm it actually gets and some of you may be able to just about hear the fan kicking in if you've got headphones on. And obviously again, if you're using a laptop, you don't necessarily want your fans to be kicking in all the time, especially if you're gaming or streaming. So then let's do the same thing, but we'll actually put on cooling mode. And already you can see the temperatures are starting to drop anyway, which kind of you'd expect. But now let's do stress CPU. So we are gonna see a slight reduction in performance here. So we're gonna get just over 2000 points here for the multi-threaded score. And for the single thread, I'm guessing we're gonna get around about 200, maybe 220. We'll see what that comes out. But you can see already the CPU temperature, we're not really getting much higher than the kind of upper forties, whereas previously we were heading towards the sixties. So we're about 10 degrees cooler, which is excellent news. Now I'm actually gonna let this run a lot longer than I did previously, just to see where the temperature actually does get to. So we actually climbed up to about 52 degrees. So it is roughly about 10 degrees cooler, but still the fan you can barely hear in the laptop, which is excellent. And it's also sustaining the frequencies. So as you can see here, we're kind of hovering around this score and it's not really changing. So we're currently here, CPU speed, 2.07 gigahertz. So it's just slightly under our base clock speed. And again, the CPU temperature is holding. So I could pretty much leave it like this all day long should I wish to. And it's gonna to get to a point where the fans aren't gonna kick in outrageously and it's gonna maintain that nice low temperature. So that is very cool indeed. Hence the name of the program, I guess. It is designed for keeping your system cool. And again, this temperature isn't gonna drop a great deal because it hasn't really increased a lot. Again, the fans are gonna do their job and bring it down very slightly. This, of course, is gonna increase your battery life and make your system much more usable and much quieter again, which is gonna be very significant for those of you that use your laptops for streaming purposes or gaming purposes. Yes, there is gonna be a slight performance hit, but it's one of those things where you can kind of trade off between the two and see which is more important to you, battery life and cooling, or just raw performance. And again, we'll turn the cooling mode off. We'll just go into stress CPU and really see what happens now, just with this running just a little bit longer. Again, you can see the temperatures rocketing up straight away. We've already exceeded where we were previously. 
and the test is only just beginning. And we see, yep, now we're up to 70, 77, 81, 83. We're very easily gonna get into thermal throttling situations. So, yep, we're gonna pretty much hit 88C, which is the thermal throttle point. And yeah, that's it. So we're holding now pretty much at 88 degrees Celsius in a matter of mere seconds. So let's go into cooling mode now and uh, we should watch that drop off very significantly. As you can see, that is still dropping. We're still running the test. The numbers are still looking not too bad. They are dropping off very slightly, but certainly you can see there the throttling of the processor, reducing the overall frequency is having a very dramatic effect on the temperatures. We've dropped basically nearly 30 degrees already and it's still running and it's still very usable and very responsive. And the fan is almost turned off. If I'm quiet now, you can just about hear the fan But again, we are still dropping temperatures. And as you can see, looking at the graph there, we've gone from 88 degrees as our maximum. And now we're down to 54. So over 30 degrees cooler. That is pretty impressive. And means that your laptop's going to last longer. It's not going to be sucking in loads of dust through all the filters and vents and will hopefully prolong the life of your unit. So there you go, there is a look at the Camomile app, which is completely free to download. I think this is actually a very valid piece of software. And again, for this specific unit, our HP here, the G8245, this thing is always pretty terrible when it came to cooling anyway. And I've had made some adjustments to this with better cooling thermal compound, uh, repaste it, all that kind of stuff. And no matter what I did, it would always get to the point where it would start thermal throttling or just the fans would be obnoxiously loud. So I couldn't use it for recording videos, which basically made this thing almost redundant. Whereas now using the Camera app, I can quite happily do whatever I need to do, record videos, make footage, and know that my CPU temperature isn't gonna be getting to the point where the fans are just gonna be obnoxiously loud and distracting for the viewers. So anyway, Try this out for yourself. Let me know what you think about it. Of course, there'll be links in the video description. There's no affiliation or kickbacks or cash. So if you want to use it, feel free. I think it's actually very useful. And please do let me know if you do test yourself. Let me know what type of unit you've tested it on and let us know your high temperatures and your low temperatures and see if it's been beneficial and if it has. So uh, yeah, just uh, if you can leave a like on the video. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider you could also subscribe as well and click on the chime button. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.